Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you a spectacular game between two club players. Both players are under 1800 rating, but uh, I'm sure we can learn something from uh, this game. Game started with e4, black played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, and knight to f6. And now, in this position, White played knight to c3, which looks like a natural move, but this is not so good. If black continues with bishop e7, or perhaps bishop to c5, then everything is normal. But in this position, black can immediately equalize with this temporarily knight sacrifice. Knight x pawn knight x knight and now d5. The book move is bishop to d3 and after pawn takes bishop takes and game is equal. I'm not sure if um, white knew what the book move is. Uh, he played the novelty bishop to b5 which is not as good but let's see what happened. Pawn takes knight Knight takes pawn, knight is pinned, and in this position, black can make a good move. What would you play? Queen to d5 is not bad. Black played queen to g5, which is even better move. And now, knight takes knight, and uh, can you see that queen can take the bishop, or she can take the pawn on g2? How would you continue? There is a saying that uh, it's better to have a bird in the hand, which is bishop, than two in the bush. But black went for two in the bush, attacking the rook, rook to f1, and now black wanted to get rid of the pin, bishop is under attack, bishop goes to a4, b5, and black got rid of the pin. Now the best move in this position is bishop to d6, but black thought that this is the best move. Bishop is attacking the queen and looks like that queen is trapped. The first move that comes to mind in this position is f3. After bishop takes, rook takes, pawn takes, black is winning. Black was counting on this variation. Okay, so after bishop to g4, f3 is not good. What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? Okay, so we have to look at the whole board. There is 64 squares on the board. And we look for checks and captures. And if we can make counterattack, can you see something like that? If you saw this move, congratulations, because this is the move that is turning tables. Why? This is check. King can go to d8 or e7. He can go to d7, but it doesn't make difference. So, king takes the bishop. And now, why did white sacrifice the bishop? Because of this move. Knight to e5, check. King to e6. And now, white captured the bishop. And uh, he won the game. Uh, there is... Another way to win, he could have taken with the queen, and after queen takes, knight takes, he would even have an easier game. Okay, so white was lucky that uh, black made a mistake, but black was doing fine after knight to c3. Remember this position? So, knight to c3 is not the best move. What is better move for white in this position? d3 is better d4 is better, castling is also good, and, but that's losing the, the pawn, but it doesn't matter, white would get good development, and in this position you can play very sharp, knight to g5, this would be good fun for white to play, so all these moves are better than knight to c3. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something from it.